Night Beat. So, does this toy come with the single from the barge? It's 80s music, look it up. Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Titan Master Nightbeat. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here, we just have Fort Max. Just it, it, His body's not even there. It's just, yeah, it's just, where's my body? I don't know. I don't know, man. They have Nightbeat just... just He's in a bad mood. I don't know why, but he's in a bad mood. On the back of the packaging, you just have some information saying, hey, you can plug this head onto other bodies. Hooray! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here is the first of our single-packed Titan Masters, or Headmasters, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. Um, but yeah, here we have Night Beat. So we'll take a look at the Titan Master first. So getting closer, you can see some nice yellow there on the mouth plates. Yellow body, blue legs, and some pretty decent molding. There's actually some like rivets going on there, which is actually pretty nice looking. And yeah, of course he has the upside down face on his back. And yeah, you would you'd, you'd be annoyed too if you had to just hang upside down like that on somebody's back. That's not that's not comfortable. Not comfortable at all. But anyway, as usual, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly movement. The shoulders are on a ball joint, which don't allow for too much range of movement. That's all the outward movement you're going to get. Um, he can't raise his arms all the way up. That's as far as they can go. The hips are on a hinge, and the knees are on a hinge. And that's pretty much it, articulation-wise, for these little dudes. Now, for comparison, here he is with a Fans Project Headmaster. If we can get him to stand. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster, with Spike. You can see how he scales with other Headmasters. So, there you have that. And that's pretty much it for Nightbeat. Now, he does also include his little, his little uh, vehicle thing. Yeah, they all come with little vehicle things. And, um, yeah, so here's his little... His little drill tank here, which is done in blue and yellow, so keeping with the paint scheme. You do get some nice silver paint here on the drill itself, with some nice molded details as well. Looks very good. And you got some silver on the side here, Autobot symbol, right there. Again, some nice, some nice molding throughout. Got the little section right there for the Titan Master. The other side, got a little bit of red there for the alternate alt mode, for the second alt mode. And the bottom, not much going on there. You can see it's pretty hollow. And uh, yeah, there are no wheels on it, so it doesn't roll or anything. You can slide it around. You can slide it around to your heart's content. You can do that. You can do that all day. Totally up to you. Your toy. Do what you want with it. Just slide. Slide it all you want. Slide to your heart's content. Just slippity, slippity, slide. Anyway. So... <laughs> How the Titan Master here incorporates with the vehicle mode is you take him, and you fold him in half, you basically put him into his head mode, and you're going to plug him in face down, and the head will just plug in right in there. So you just take that, line it up, and you just push that in, and then you just kind of, kind of, you're, you're kind of forcing this in here, which I don't like. You're kind of pushing things past things, which I never like, but there you go. And there you have it. So you have the Titan Master incorporated with the drill tank mode. And, um, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> and just for comparison, here he is with Rewind in his tank mode. You can see how he scales there. If we flip that down there, it be a little more accurate. There you go. That's how he scales with Rewind in his tank mode. Right there. And he does have a second mode as well, so for that we have to you know, pull him back out. Let release, release. There we go. Let's <laughs> pull him out. And you take this section right here, flip it back, take this whole assembly here, flip that around, flip the whole thing around, and then you come here and flip out the wings. And now it's a little jet. Oh, look at that! That's just precious. That's Josh Brush. That's you got a nice red cockpit right there. You even get some little missiles or guns, whatever they are, molded onto the wings there. And uh, yeah, 
Now, how Nightbeat incorporates into this vehicle mode is just bring his arms up, and there are two posts right back here. And you just take Nightbeats, and you plug his feet in like that, and you lean him forward, and there you go. There he's flying the jets. Woo! You can just slide him around. Slide him to your heart's content. Just slippity, slippity, schla. Anyway. So, there you have that. Now, of course, being a headmaster, you can be a head for your other figures. So you just fold them in half there, and there you have the face sculpt. And again, he just looks, he looks so annoyed. He's just, nah, 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 nah. I don't know what that face is supposed to be, but hey, that's, that's the face he's making. But let's readjust here so we can show off how this looks on some other Titans Return figures. And here we have Deluxe Blur, so we'll see how Nightbeat works on him. Actually, that 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 works pretty well, because the colors do actually match up perfectly. Um, so yeah, that definitely works on Blur. That looks good. Still just... It just looks annoyed, but yeah, it actually, it actually works really well on Blur, so... There you have that. Uh, let's try him out on this big orange dude here. Let's see how he looks on on Sentinel Pram. Let's see how he looks here on Sentinel on the Sentinel of the Pram. Look, well, this isn't going to work at all because that just yeah no, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't work at all. That's just that's just a no. That's just a no 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 <laughs> no not really. That <laughs> I would have that face too. Like this is too much orange. Gig. I would. I, yeah. No. No. That. that no. No. Not, that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. Right, let's try him out with Blaster. Let's see. And I just. Beep, there we go. Try him out with Blaster here. Let's see how this works out for us. This might work out better. Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> no. Let's put the helmet on him. No. That. <laughs> he just. He just, <laughs> he just, he just looks annoyed that he's wearing this helmet. Like I didn't know, I, this helmet doesn't fit. It's too big. It just. <laughs> so yeah, no, that, that that doesn't really, that that doesn't really work on Blaster. No, no, no. Actually, let's try out, let's let's try out Galvatron. Let's see how this works. Hold on, let's come back down here. Let's try Galvatron. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of doing this, but eh, why not? Then I say, why not? Plug this in here and see. Yeah, actually, actually, the face, the face works for Galvatron. The, the colors are off, but that face totally works for Galvatron. That would that would definitely work if you just repainted that. That 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 could work. That could work for Galvatron. <laughs> Because, you know, if anybody should have that face, it should be Galvatron. So, actually, the, the face sculpt works. It's just the colors are off. But, hey, 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 hey. So, so there you have that. So, the last thing you can do is, we'll bring in, uh, we'll bring in Blaster again for this. Um, the last thing you can do is the little vehicle here can turn into a weapon. So, you just fold up the wings, and you just flip around the drill again. Fold that up. If you don't already have the head plugged onto something, just you know, plug the head, plug the head back on. Get that pushed in there, and then you just flip down this peg, and now it is a handheld weapon that any of your deluxers or voyagers or leaders or anything with a five millimeter port can hold. And there you go. Now Blaster's got a little, little drill gun. There you go. So you know. They, they definitely try to incorporate a lot of playability into these little guys, and I appreciate that. So, yeah. So, there you pretty much have everything that the toy can do. So, there you have little night beats. So, yeah. Um, you know, these are neat. I do like the little vehicles. I think they're pretty cool. And, you know, they add to the playability of the line. They have two modes. They have a weapon mode. And, you know, some cool. Um, you know, the single-pack Titan Masters... You know, they just add to the playability of the line. It's just, you know, more heads to swap around so you can play around and have a good laugh. <laughs> so, I appreciate it. Um, 
I really don't know how many of these I'm going to buy, though. Um, I, I do have the first two waves. Um, after that, I, I really don't know if I'll, I'll buy any more because I don't really know how many how many heads I'm, I'm going to need on my shelf, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> but I got the first two waves, and I'll review them all. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's a neat idea, and like I said, definitely adds to the playability of the line. So, there you have that. So, if you would like a Night Beat or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also, linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return, Titan Master Night Beat, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Alright, Night Beat, so here's the plan. While Galvatron's on vacation, you're gonna go to the Decepticon base, disguised as Galvatron, and find out all you can! No, what are you kidding? This is a stupid plan, Prime! This is a stupid plan! No, what are you kidding? This is genius! We just have to add the finishing touch! There you go! Now you look the part, but now you gotta act the part, so say something... Galvatron-y! I swear, Prime, if I am captured and killed during this mission, I will haunt you for the rest of eternity! That's perfect! Perfect! Do that! Do that over there! You'll fool them for sure! Yes! Go! Go! Make me proud!